guys. Um, please excuse my hair, by the way. It's a little frizzy and stuff. It's been raining. Also, I cut my bang. I'm not really sure if I like them yet. It's raining pretty hard outside. I'm in Southern California and that is rain for us. This is probably every day for Seattle or something, but this is, this is pretty, um, pretty major. I'm making a video today. This is a little peeved. Now I know I'm not the only one who uh, falls for the Instagram ads. They, of course, always um, advertise products that you never think you really need or want, but they always advertise them in such a way that you think, I need that. And so I always order a lot from those gosh dang ads. They work, they work, okay? And I know they're, they're usually um, cheap things like from China or something, and, and I order them and it takes maybe like a month or two to get here, and that's expected, it's fine. I wanna share with you one of the things I got off of those ads. Now once again, I'm probably behind on everything, but you know, they advertise these no-rip uh, stockings, you know, and they show this video of them cutting it with scissors and garden clippers and all sorts of things, and, and stretching it, and it never breaks. They post a video of it. So you, you see this video, you see it with your own eyes, this happening. So you think, it's gotta be real. They put the cantaloupe in the stocking, and then they cut the cantaloupe in half with a knife. The cantaloupe obviously splits open, but the stocking is intact, and it's amazing. Lately I've been wearing a lot of skirts to work, and it's been cold, so what do you wear with a skirt? When it's cold, stockings and boots. I have a few stockings that I wear already that are good, but one of them has already got a rip in it, and I wasn't disappointed because I knew that was gonna happen sometime. I think it happened because I had an unusually sharp toenail that just punctured it, and it started ripping up from my toe and going up in a line, of course, as that always happens. And that was expected, you know. I know that stuff is not indestructible. Then I see these ads and I'm like, maybe they're not indestructible. Maybe the Chinese have figured it out or somebody's figured it out and they have this indestructible material that they use for stockings and nylons or whatever. So I'm like, I'm gonna give it a shot. So I decided to try it and because I knew I was gonna be wearing it a lot, I decided to order too. It just had come yesterday night. So today, this morning, was the morning I was going to try them out and wear a skirt to work and wear stockings, unrippable stockings, right? So this is the package that it came in. It came in another package, but this is the packaging. I had high hopes for these stockings. I had high, high hopes that they would not rip. Well, long story short, now that we're like a couple minutes into the video, they ripped. You can now you can now click away from the video. You got your information. But if you want to stick around, I'm going to show you them. This is the second pair that I have not opened. See, the seal has not been broken. Um, and I did not open them because I don't want to even bother. I already know what's going to happen. Here are the stockings I tried on this morning. They have a big gaping hole. Here it is. Here's that hole. Ripped right through. These are the stockings they sent me. The store was called supergo.store or something. <laughs> something weird that obviously was Chinese, you know. I knew that once again. But I, once again, I had hopes. I thought, you know, maybe they'll actually send me the product and the product will actually be indestructible. First of all, I take them out of the package. They already feel flimsy. It already feels like a material that I could easily rip. Should have been, you know, red flag number one, right? Apparently not, because I was like, maybe that's just the magic, you know? Maybe somehow they feel flimsy, but they're actually super strong. So I put them on, pull them up. I can feel they're kind of sliding down already. They don't stay up. It's already a uh, strike one against them. And so I looked past that and I said, all right, they slide down, but at least they're indestructible, right? But anyway, uh, what do I do? Well, I gotta pull them up. <laughs> And that's when it happened. Grabbed them, pulled them up, ripped them on the side, and that's where this big hole came from. Right here. Look at how big that is. On my leg it looks even bigger. I can show a picture of that. The second it happened, I just, I had that face like, oh, I just ripped something. But in my mind it wasn't, I just ripped it. My mind was, are you 
fucking kidding me. You said these wouldn't rip, and I just fucking ripped them with my hand. I did not take a pair of scissors to it. I did not take a pair of garden clippers to it. I did not let my dog scratch it with his nails, which get very long and sharp, by the way. I did not do any of this. I didn't put a cantaloupe in it and cut it in half with a knife. I simply took my hand. Do you see my nails? They are not. They are all cut. They're very short. If you really tried, sure, you could scratch them. They're not that short, but they're not long. They're just regular old nails. I take my hand, I grab it, and I pull it up, and it rips. <laughs> and I get either, you know what, maybe I'm just too strong. Maybe they are indestructible, and I'm just really strong. Maybe I have Hulk strength. I'd like to believe that, right? I'd love to have Hulk strength. Then, and only then, will I be like, okay, you know what? I tested your product, but it's my fault they broke because I'm just too strong. <laughs> but I really doubt it. And I want to warn anybody who might be watching this, who might be thinking of getting stockings like that, or at least these kind, to basically not get them because they do not, they are not as advertised, they do rip. I went back to the website to write a review because I want to tell somebody how frustrated I am. I feel like they kind of um, screen their uh, reviews and their posts because all of their reviews were like five, four and five stars. Oh, these are great, these are lovely, these are so stretchy, I can't rip them, blah blah blah. That, or they are um, planting these people in their audience to write good reviews, you know? I remember working as a marketing intern. One of the things I had to do was to write a review about the company, and I worked for them. So I get it. Sometimes people do it. Because it was a new company, so I was supposed to try to boost their social media presence and just, like, get things, get the ball rolling, get things started, you know? You just want to put reviews up. So that's really what I was doing. So I get it. Companies do that. Obviously they do. So I was thinking that that's kind of what it was for them, is that they just had people they hired to um, write these good reviews. Because if they got this package, <laughs> they did not have a good time. Anyway, the second thing is that I noticed in their pictures, because they posted pictures too, some of the people were posting their package that they got. And their package looked completely different than mine. Um, and, and I mean, I'm talking about the outside package that they ship it in. I had this kind of envelope. I threw it away, of course I did. But I had an envelope bubble um, white package. And some people had like a, a bag package. And I don't know, maybe they're just, maybe the company just does them all random like that. But you, you'd think a company would be consistent in the kind of uh, packaging that they wrap their products in. Uh, another thing is, this is a cool freaking package, right? It's cool. I love the way it's wrapped. If I was uh, in uh, graphic design and marketing again, this is this would get an A plus in one of my in my packaging class. Not one uh, picture had this package in there. It did not, it, which is weird to me because this is a cool package, right? If you were gonna take a picture of your package, <laughs> you'd take a picture of this, not a picture of the lumpy thing that came in the mail. And I had the opportunity to write a view. It said I could write a view, and I wrote one. I put it up there. And I even put my picture up there with my rip, with the one where my leg was showing through the giant hole. And I didn't see it up there after, but I assume it's probably because they have to vet it first and see if it's appropriate to put on their site, which they probably won't if they are looking at it. Um, if they do, for some reason, look at it, they will probably won't put it up there because if there's no bad reviews, they're not going to put mine up there, that's for sure. Second of all, maybe they don't even look at it at all. And... Um, like those people, those eight people who posted up there had permission to post because they told them to. Whereas anybody else who actually, any other real customer out there who actually put up a review, whether good or bad, isn't allowed to. <laughs> That's just my extreme thinking because I know I'm not gonna see my review up there. So I'm sorry, I'm getting a little flustered because it's very frustrating that they, that I was duped. It was my fault, first of all, because I knew I was getting a cheap product. And why would they sell you this, these they why would they sell a product to be indestructible if it was only, if it was eight to ten dollars or whatever, on sale apparently, but you know, that's just the price it is because it's cheap. So yes, bottom line, I know it was my fault for falling for that. I know that it should already be known that buying off of those types of sites there's already a warning. You're first of all you're buying online, so that's already kind of um iffy. And uh, you can't try anything on, you can't try it for yourself before you buy it. So 
already. There's red flag number one. Red flag number two is it's super cheap. And it's from some random store called supergo.store. <laughs> I'm not gonna return these because I have a feeling that they're just gonna either take their sweet ass time doing it or not get back to me at all because I've also had that happen to me as well. And I'm, so I'm not even gonna bother returning it. So what I'm gonna do is actually open this package here and show you just how easy they are to rip. I'm gonna be really embarrassed if I rip, if I pull on them on camera and they don't rip. I think I'll just edit that part out altogether and then no one will know. <laughs> well, this is attempt number two at um, seeing if these stockings are in fact indestructible. My bet is almost 100% on no, they are not indestructible. I kind of feel like um, Steve from Blue's Clues opening the mail. We just got a letter. Okay, here they are. Here's this. Take this out. This came out and it says something. Somebody read that for me. Um, probably like, haha, you've been duped, you stupid idiot. That's probably what it says. Here are the stockings. Same exact stockings as these. Same exact flimsy material. Let's see, so let's pretend this is my leg. Um, how am I gonna do this? You know what, maybe I have to have it on my leg. But let's try this. Yep, there it goes. Super easy. So if you didn't believe my rant about it before, this is proof that it is not, in fact, indestructible. Look at the holes I'm making in this. Look at this. I'm not, I swear to you, I'm not, I do not have godlike strength. I'm not even remotely strong. And that is what happened. Definitely, definitely uh, led me astray and um, used false advertising. That or they just sent me the wrong thing, which I don't know how that would have happened. Let's, um, my failures. <laughs> be a lesson to everybody out there. If you get those ads on Instagram or Facebook about some in indestructible stockings or really any indestructible thing that seems to be from a website that is just from China, um, please at least remember and have very, very, very low expectations. That way you might not be disappointed. I'd say my expectations were in the middle. It's just because of the video, honestly. I, they get you with the videos because they're showing you literally on the video what the product does and you see it with your own eyes. You don't just see a picture of it that could have been altered. You see a whole video, which is so much more real, right? They can't alter videos, no way. Bottom line, don't order indestructible stockings because they're not unless they're from a reputable, you know, company, which if they are, they probably still aren't indestructible but just beware beware buyer beware of those gosh dang ads on freaking instagram that get me every time and i know it's, this is not this experience is not going to stop me from buying on instagram which is ridiculous i'm weak don't be weak like me please and this bad product is 100 percent my fault because of it i'm mad of course i'm mad at, at the situation and what happened and even a little bit at the company for sending me you know shit products but at the same time, it really is mostly just my fault for falling for that stupid ad. <laughs> Be aware of those ads and, um, or at, le at the very least, have very, very, very low expectations for them and you won't be disappointed. So that's my rant about these gosh dang supposed indestructible stockings. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.